Hello, here the first part of the print summary. I have printed a lot in the last days with the Bamboo Lab X1 carbon combo and uh, tried different, different materials, different speeds, different temperatures, etc. And with the most, I must say, I'm happy. I have a problem with the slicer, with the special part. I made a video before. That's the, the, the help video. So if you want to look into this, maybe you can help me with the slicer problem. Yeah, to make it short, it is a problem to combine vase mode and the normal print mode. So maybe you, and I hope you can help me. Please click into the video. I put an info card here or a link there, somewhere. Okay, but back to the topic of this video. Uh, I printed a lot and I printed in lo a lot in ABS. I also tried ASA, ASA, as a, uh, of course PLA, a little bit of PLA plus, but not much. PLA is so easy to print. It looks good on every printer. Um, I printed uh, PETG, not that much yet, uh, the most was ABS. It's for a project uh, for a friend, it's a 3D printer, it's a 3D printed 3D printer, a little small one, a tiny one, it's called the Rook, Rook. Uh, link down in the description and uh, he asked me to print uh, him the parts. He cannot print ABS on his uh, printer. So I thought it is a good idea to test the, the X1 uh, and print not stupid things, print actual parts. So, and now let me show you a few parts. I have a big box here, no advertisement. Then I tried. Then I tried Hips Hotel India Papa Sierra Hips H I P S. This is a holder I'm using here for my shelf. Here's the wood, and it's clamped to the to the wood. Is that camera you can see it? It's not activated. Sorry. Maybe you see a picture now. And this is a good test print because you can break it yeah, if you want. And this was HIPS. HIPS is normally used as support material for ABS, but I want to print it and test the strength, etc. And after this print, I can show that to you. You can really easily snap this. Now, uh, easy is, is relative. And then I saw that the infill and the wall are more or less two parts. At the bottom and at the top it's melted together, but at the normal outlines it's two different parts. There you can see it real good. And then I increased the overlap between the infill and the wall by 10%. It was set to 15% uh, and I increased it to 25 and now they are bond together. And the same was with ABS and there I did the same. So that's this part. It was hips. The rest was yeah, really good. Finish is, is great. Then I started printing ABS and I started with the same hooks.
this was the print bed side it was printed everything here hips and abs was printed on the pie sheet the ptg was printed on the cold blade printed this way down and there you see with uh, here with the the radius it's much better here on the abs then on the hips part i had no problems with with warping also it was sticking very well and after the plate cooled down the the parts popped alone and yeah everything is fine look at this great finish here i try to hold it into the light look at that it's it's really a nice finish really smooth excellent part okay then as i said before i started printing parts for the rook again this really nice surface from the pie sheet everything was printed without support so the holes are uh, it's not on that part it's on other parts so i had a little bit of top surface problems here I think there was a little bit, you can see it, there was a little bit of a warping here at the edge. Don't give her the focus, yeah. Here was a little bit of focus, come back. A little bit of warping. And that caused the problems on the top layer. This was also printed only with three top layers and dot six layer height as top layer printed with dot uh, two millimeter layer height so then i increased top layer to dots dot eight and four and then we get this result focus little bit of the problem again on the edges again a little bit of warping i increased the temperature to 95 i used a, a brim it's called the brim of five millimeters maybe that was not enough but for this part it's no problem so i will not print it again it's just a, a frame nothing special so also a rook part is this and that's called the the print bed i think and there you see we had no warping problems as i can see again the nice surface from the pie sheet and top layer a little bit here and there Maybe there was a little bit of warping, but I cannot really see it. But again, fine for this part. I'm happy. Top surface, four, four layers, dot eight millimeter with dot two layer height. And uh, the outer walls really shiny. So I'm also happy with that. If I look here into this sharp corners, I don't see a ringing or so. And as I said before, printed without support. And there in this holes there, then you can see it's a, li it's a little bit hard to see on the black. It was printed in the air but after the second layer everything is fine so that's good also the diameter 
The measurements I did are inside of a torrent of, of a dot one millimeter. That's fine. Then the next step. Oh Jesus, that's a long video. Um, multiple parts. Everything printed without support. And there was a really horrible angle, but it's still fine for no support. There is a belt going through, so that's just a, a hole. <laughs> there you can see a little bit from the bridging. Well, that's fine. It's a functional part. I printed the legs. And that is something I want to show you. That's the first I tried with supports. I tried in the slicer different settings and then I decided to go with three supports and decided to use the print material as support material. And I think this was three layer three layer of PV, uh, what is it called, HIPS, H-I-P-S, HIPS, where we have seen the, the orange hooks before, the HIPS as support top layers, where the support contacts the material for easy removement. And let me show that how easy this comes up. So I took care that it is not coming off by alone. So there is a little bit of uh, that was glued together at the at the bottom, but came off easily. And now the the big part of the tree. And popped. There it is. There is a little bit still on the part. But look how easy this is removed. And there we have it. Everything is gone. And we have a beautiful part. I think the most you have seen, but, and isn't there always a but? I had one misprint, horrible print, name it. And this is that one. It's apart from the Rook too. It is the old print bed and look what happened. This came, it was printed overnight, print job was finished without problems. I opened the door and then I had this. There was the brim outside, I removed the, that and look at that mess here, look at that. It's an absolutely nightmare. And the worst is this strange separation here. Look at that. Oh, come on. There is no layer bonding, no, no layer adhesion. And that's all over everywhere. It's, I have no idea what this is. Look at that, how easy. It's the whole part. Hmm. I have not really an idea what happened, but this is a bad
bad print. That's the only one I must say I had. But on such a big part it was three and a half hours in normal speed printed in ABS. No problems with the other parts but this one I opened the door and yeah, I was not shocked but I thought Jesus what's that. So no idea what it was I will look into it maybe try to print it again I sliced it again and in the slicer everything looked fine I still have the file from this print uh, it should be stored on the internal or on the SD card so I will with an uh, g-code viewer I will look into the code maybe the slicer was the problem if you have seen my help video there was also a problem in vase mode if you remember it, there was this strange outer wall uh, rings maybe you, you want to look in the video and maybe this is a slicer problem maybe if I find out more I let you know okay so that's for now let me take a last look yep looks like you have seen the most okay it's long enough the video so uh, thanks for your support and uh, <laughs> thanks for the uh, views on the on the bamboo lab x1 carbon combo video that's one of my best videos on the channel so uh, big thanks for that maybe you hear the x1 in the background it's changing filament i'm printing abs with uh, hips support so maybe you see there the next project okay see you later thanks for your support please hit the bell subscribe or not it's your choice but it would help the channel a lot so thanks and stay safe stay healthy bye dm4ds sandor